Now, Assam is on red alert after suspected Bodo militants have gunned down 52 people, mainly women and children, in a series of attacks that took place in Kokrajhar and Sonitpur districts. Now, the rebels came on foot, armed with assault rifles and wearing military uniforms. And the victims are reportedly members of tribal communities who traditionally work in tea gardens. Home Minister Rajnath Singh will visit the state today. The National Democratic Front of Borderland uh, S or the NDFBS, a breakaway faction of the NDFB, is said to be behind the attack, uh, which is said to be in retaliation for action against them and also to create terror ahead of the Borderland Council elections. Currently, both the army and the state police have been pressed into action. They're combing the area in order to flush out those who are behind this attack. We feel that the central government and state governments in the northeast region must work together to bring all those splinter groups of various terrorist organizations to the negotiating table and pressurize them to leave this road of violence. And we must concentrate also on those families who often just become numbers when such an incident takes place. And for an update on this, let's go across to Urmi Mala, who joins us on the phone line. Urmi, can you give us the latest on this? The figure seems to have gone up. Uh, hi, you may, uh, the NDF militants uh, have actually shot people mindlessly, as we see in close range, and killing people irrespective of the age. And the official death toll still stands at 55, with no fresh dis death, uh, dead bodies discovered so far. But one thing very noticeable is the number of infant deaths, which is almost 20, including both the districts of Sonitpur and Kokrajhar, where the killings have happened. Uh, we are, in fact, in constant touch with the police, and as, as per the police sources, there are high chances of uh, more dead bodies to be found. These areas, especially in Kokrajhar, the terrains are hilly with almost little or no connectivity. So even if there is a uh, more dead body discovered, there are high chances that uh, they have not got the information. The police have not got the information. Uh, so we are now crossing between Acharyali and Sonipur district and heading towards the Pablo River Forest, which is close to uh, the Arunachal uh, border. And the casualties is said to be highest in Simankara. It's an Adivasi settlement in the north of Pablo River Forest. Um, obviously, the situation is extremely horrific, and the Chief Minister Tarun Gogo has ordered for intense security and army deployment. Uh, on ground, however, we do not see much uh, significant police presence. And uh, the local police, we just spoke to the local police who said that uh, they are mainly intensifying securities along the border and the interiors that are more fragile. So the curfew is on in the right. BTID areas with shops, schools and establishments closed. The overall mood is very, very tense. And uh, the militants have said to be attacked to attack the villages in response to the intensified operations by the security forces. Okay. Right. Uh, Urmi Mala, thanks very much uh, for that update. So that uh, casualty number has gone up to 55. Remember, we began with 30 last night and uh, this morning we were saying it was 40 plus. Now it's 45, just an hour back. Now it's 55. Let's go across to Alok Pandey, who's also tracking this situation. Alok, absolute uh, tragedy out here, horrific. Uh, the casualty number going up to 55 right now. But has there been, uh, uh, as sources have been saying, this is in retaliation to attacks on them. So has there been an operation on this front? Well, uh, just to give you some perspective on what has happened, first of all, Umi Wala was speaking about uh, how a large number of the dead are women and children. When that happens, you cannot help but thinking, think that this is some kind of a message that's being sent to a particular community here by the militants. Why has this happened? Let's just go into a little bit of history. Uh, the, Bo uh, the Bodo community uh, and the Adivasis have coexisted, lived peacefully with each other at least since 1996 when there was an ethnic clash between these two communities that resulted in loss of lives on both sides and a lot of displacement for the Adivasis. But since then, both these communities have coexisted, lived together in the same villages. Uh, what has happened right now and what top police sources in the Assam police are saying to us is two things. Number one, just on Sunday there was an encounter in Bogaingao, which is again closer to Kokrajhar, where two NDFB Songbijit uh, militants were gunned down in a joint operation by the Indian Army and the Assam police. Now some sources are saying that uh, there is gossip in that area, there is word in that area that the informants to the police were members of the Adivasi community and that's why they have been targeted. Of course the loophole is here, why would you kill 
not only kill in Kokrajhar but hop four districts and also kill in Sonitpur which is far away so that's one loophole loophole the other thing that uh, sources in the Assam police are telling us is that there was this talk that a major operation would be launched against militants of the National Democratic Front of Songbijit who occupy a lot of space and carry out their operations in this borderland territorial council areas so again uh, the point is that there has been a lot of speculation that a lot of the informants for the police in these regions who are providing information about the whereabouts of these militants about their hideouts are members of the adivasi community of course this is something that the police completely denies on record but this is what they say that has been going around among militants that it is the members of the adivasi community who are helping the police and that is why they say that there could be a scene where this retaliation has happened where these militants have gone and deliberately struck uh, killed women children and others to strike a message to members of this community that whatever you are doing against us will not happen in these parts so this is these are the theories that are going around with the assam police right now of course difficult to say anything in a concrete manner but this is what uh, police sources are saying at the moment that could be the cause of uh, so many members of the adivasi community being targeted in spite of the fact that in the last decade and more there has been no ethnic tension between the bodo community and that of the adivasis in these areas